So this is the second part of the lighting effect video. We can see in this one, uh, we have this uh, text behind there and we have the image. I'm gonna show you how to create that now. So I'm gonna go to file, or no, I'll actually do the text first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw my text here. Again, here's the size of my font. This is again in pixels. And I wanna choose that same gray color. So I'm just gonna type in the word test. Let's type it in twice so we can see as it goes across. I'm going to highlight this. We'll up my font size to something a little larger. So we can see we get some a uh, little bit of a color effect here. What I want to do now, though, is I want to duplicate this layer. And I want to duplicate it a couple times. And again, just like we did on the previous ones, I'm going to leave that uh, bottom layer intact. But I'm going to go to the layer above it, and I'm going to go to my Gaussian blur. And I'm going to choose a number like 30. Again, this is something you can play around with. I'm going to come up here and filters, blur. And I'll do this one at 70. And what that's doing is it's giving that uh, effect of blurring the background with the one that's there. So we get that little bit more of that light effect that's shining around it, like you can see here. Now, again, if I use a bolder font like I did here, we would get a little bit more of a bolder picture. So the next thing I'm going to do is I already have this picture created. So I'm going to open this as a separate one. Uh, I found this image uh, online, and we're going to see that it's black. And that's not going to work for what we need. So there's a few things we can do. We can come up here, and we can go to our colors on this. We can invert our value to make it white. But that white's not going to show up as good as our gray would. So I'm going to go back here to my color fill. And I'm going to do this rather quickly. Uh, maybe not getting all of this. And again, if I'm doing this uh, for my own project, I'm going to zoom in and make sure that I click on every portion of this for that gray fill. If I click outside of it, remember, I'm going to fill the entire image and then it's going to be useless to me. So I'm just going to again hopefully get most of it. Let's zoom out. And, and I'm going to use it the same way I did as text. But first I'm going to have to export this. And again, I don't want to save as because that saves as an XTS file, XCF file, which is a project file. I'm going to save this to my desktop. I want to export it as a PNG so I get this transparent background. So now I can come here, go File, Open as a Layer. I can bring in that invert picture. And we can move that to where we want it on here. <laughs> I'm having difficulties, obviously. Um, we're moving our background layer. We're not moving this. Let me move it all the way to the top for one. So there we go. I'm going to get there. Then I can move it underneath my layer here. And again, if I want that blurred effect, I would duplicate this layer. And I could do that same uh, filters, blur, and our Gaussian blur. Now, the more I blur it, uh, the different effects that I could get. And you can really play around with that to get the desired effect that you would want. So a couple of things that I can notice, my, uh, my color isn't as bright. And one of the things that I notice is I still had my opacity on that last one from the previous project set to 60. So if I come through on it and I make sure my opacity is at 100%, I get a little brighter. And my clouds really aren't showing through as well as I'd like as either. So I'm gonna come down here uh, I'm just going to make sure my settings are right. So I'm going to come back down to render clouds. Again, I want a solid noise pattern, uh, six and six. And there we go. Uh, and I just wanted to render that again to make sure I had my settings correct. So that should be a way that we can create our logo.